I probably think about the question of who am I more than the average person. You know, am I Singaporean? Am I Malay? Am I Boyanese? Am I a musician? Am I an artist? But up till today, I'm still not able to tell you for sure who I am really. Being a full-time artist, it feels quite surreal and unreal to me. You know, having my own studio and going into paint every day. So I feel like as an artist, I'm on borrowed time because I don't feel like I was born to draw. No, but I just love drawing. I kind of fell in love with the idea of being an artist rather than being one. And I think that kind of imagery was stuck in my head from watching movies and watching all these TV shows. So I, I decided that maybe it would be the kind of life that I would want to lead. My first work was in 2004, and I was plastering stickers on walls and lampposts. And it was my way of leaving my mark and also making a commentary on censorship. So I started coming up with this tagline that just says, Speak in Cryptic or Speak Cryptic. The campaign in itself was a mirror. It was sort of like a reflection of my environment. This is a book called The National Archives. Um, it was published in 2014. Most of these drawings are just inspired by my daily life. So this particular drawing is called Cold Shoulder. This is about my experience with a uh, staff at a particular supermarket. And um, you know, I came in and I wanted something and that person just basically just gave me a cold shoulder. And the 50-50 chance, you know, is just talking about this um, idea of, you know, if I go into that particular supermarket, I might not get what I want. This one is called Office Fire. So this is based on my dislike for working in an office. I've tried it before, I didn't like it. I think that memory kind of stayed with me for a while to a point where I wanted to create a piece of drawing that represents that dislike. So you know, like how people would have like a journal. Mine is mostly just visual, you know, I just draw my day. But to be honest, you know, I, I don't remember half of them anyway. I've always been fascinated by what makes up a person, you know, what forms their character and personality. So growing up, there was this very conscious feeling of not knowing who I am and wanting to know who I am really. So, you know, being Singaporean, Malay, Boyanese descent, I remember going to visit the islands back when I was like 17 and seeing people that were not living in my neighbourhood at that time felt very strange. And I've always imagined like how they would be like if they were somewhere else. Would they change? Would they still be the same people? And that sort of like led to this interest in how the location itself shapes a person. With my recent exploration on migration is based on my interest in what happens when one would go through a journey and it's not about the destination per se, it's about what happens in between. You know, because many things could happen. You know, you could trip over your cat or you know, you could hit your toe at the edge of a table and that could change a person and that's what I'm interested in. So the current series of paintings I'm working on is based on the same idea that I've been exploring for the past couple of years and it still talks about identities. Basically what I decided to do was to create the same characters but have it exist on like one body. It's just talking about how I feel like I'm made up of many many things. Um, but aesthetically there's a slight departure. You know I've never really attempted to seriously go and and carelessly paint. So I just want to try it out. In my mind, there is this perfect image in my head. The works that you see, the works on the canvas, the stuff that's in the exhibition, they're not as close to where I want it to be in regards to what I have in my head. So for me, that's that chase. That's that um, intention of wanting to create something that's the most ideal. You know, I don't know whether if we ever get there, but I'm just going to try. 
the the thing about art for me has always been about another way to communicate, just like a, a language. I look at a certain symbol and I would relate that back to who I am more than anything else. And I think the current art that I'm doing is actually trying to find my way back to a place where I know it exists, but I'm not too sure whether if I'm going in the right direction as for now. And that's why I feel like I need to keep drawing, I need to keep working, because that's the only control I have over anything really. Thank you.